And we welcome two special guests on set, Dr. Donald Haar and Mike Yakowitz, and they're both the Suicide Prevention Coalition of Yellowstone Valley, great organization here in the area. Mike, do you want to tell us a little bit about it and when you guys meet? Sure, sure. So, and that, so Suicide Prevention Coalition for Yellowstone Valley, we meet every third Monday mm -hmm. at noon at the Riverstone Health. And this has been a great uh, collaboration addressing mental health and suicide prevention. And also we are part of the Mental Health Advisory Board, which we meet every first Thursday mm -hmm. at the Lyft Building on Grand across from Albertsons. And again, both areas working on mental health in itself. And so those meetings are open to anyone who's interested in learning more or, or would like to reach out for, for some assistance then? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're welcoming uh, from nonprofit leaders to just people in the community, veterans mm -hmm. and others who want to both learn more about the issue and uh, willing to roll up their sleeves and want to be part right. and in addressing the issue too. Okay, and tell me, Dr. Har, I know especially sometimes during the holidays, um, things get difficult for folks and it's hard to handle, but what advice do you have for the people watching at home in establishing mm -hmm. good mental health? First of all, I think it's important to recognize that what we refer, refer to as mental health is really problem like any other problem, whether it's our heart, stomach, or whichever, mm -hmm. and not try to separate it out as being something so different that makes them more frightened to address the problems. Exactly. One of the principal things that people need to remember is not to isolate themselves, to stay in communication, relationship with other people, mm -hmm. and to learn that it's healthy to express how they feel. Mm -hmm. There are healthy ways of expressing those feelings regardless of what they are, and that's much better than storing them inside, which causes things to build up and affects us in so many other ways. Very good point there. Well, I thank you both for joining us here this morning and hoping uh, folks at home were able to listen to this message and take some very important notes away from it. We'll